It has been the most wonderful Ooh. summer day. We're about to have the most perfect summer evening that we're gonna spend together. A little summer solo night routine here. Starting at 4 p.m. Got some nice sun on my skin today. We're gonna hop into a shower, clean myself off, do a little hair gloss, have a wonderful evening, make a yummy dinner, do a little painting. It's gonna be the perfect, perfect evening. But I gotta shower because I am sweaty. <laughs> This is a peak summer feeling. The feeling after an everything shower, after a day at the pool in the warm sun is just unmatched. Have the evening ahead, a yummy meal plan, a good book you're gonna dive into later. Like it's just the best feeling ever. And I put in a darker gloss in my hair while I was in the shower. It's my first time ever using it. So I'm actually gonna blow up my hair, see what it looks like, and then Get this wonderful night started. I really hope this gloss makes a difference. Such an easy way to keep my hair dark while the summer sun, <laughs> you know, tries to tries to do its thing. We're gonna find out. Okay, based on the bangs, I actually don't know. Maybe a little bit. I'm gonna blow out the rest of the hair and then we'll see. I'm not entirely sure if the gloss made a difference, but I think maybe. Regardless, the hair is bouncy, it's blown out, and we're putting on comfy clothes. We have on tonight's comfy outfit. So my favorite summertime activity, ever since it started getting warm, I was looking for a nice activity to do outside, but one that wasn't going for like a run or anything kind of active, like something to wind down, like get into the night. And most importantly, I wanted something off my phone. I spend way too much time on my phone. And something that I did and loved growing up was painting, sketching, just anything creative, any kind of art. I feel like as you get older and like life just gets busy, you stop doing the hobbies you had when you were a kid. And I have been loving getting back into painting and just sitting with myself and my thoughts or my music and quietly painting with myself. And honestly, every single night that I'm just chilling with myself, enjoying my own company, I cannot tell you how much I look forward to the time of day where I go and sit outside, enjoy the weather, and bring out my paint supplies, my little sketchbook. The weather's kind of crap. I'll do it on the floor of my living room and like put on my music and just have a little vibe. But obviously it's really nice when I can do it outside at my table, just enjoy my backyard, my twiggly lights, and it's that time of the day. So lately I've been finding it really fun to paint some of my own pictures from trips I've been on. I've been sketching a lot too, which I haven't done forever and I've really been enjoying it. <laughs> so the other night I painted some pictures from my trip to the south of France. I think they're like, they're cute, they're fun. And to me, like I can look at these and know exactly what it is. I don't know if anyone else could, but just painting some of my favorite pictures from some previous trips has been so fun. Like I get to relive the memories and the thoughts and the feelings that I had on these trips and when I took these photos and I've just, I've just been having so much fun. And I'm just so glad that I bought this watercolor kit on a whim. I was like, you know what? Like maybe let's try this. And it's super easy to get discouraged from things like new hobbies. If you're not good at something right away, at least I find it like, it can be hard to want to stick to something when you feel like you suck at it, but it's so rewarding when you can look back and like see the growth. So I feel like this, this little book that I have here is going to be fun to look at when I finish it. But honestly, at the end of the day, it's mostly just a really fun thing for me to have with myself that I can just disconnect and listen to music and just enjoy the wonderful evening. So I'm gonna look through my pictures and figure out what I wanna paint tonight. Okay, we're done, done for today. 7.50, I gotta make dinner. I was struggling a bit today. Look at the uh, pencil in my hand. I started and erased like five different pictures. And then I was like, oh, look, let's paint some fruit. I've been drawing circles for the last hour and a bit. For some reason, I was like, oh, this will be perfect. Easy, simple, you know, not much work, but like, it's just all the little shapes. And then, you know, trying to get the dimensions right. So here's the sketch. It doesn't look like much until we paint it, but that'll be for later this week. Anyways, now I have all the shapes. <laughs> it looks like a lot of circles. The colors are so nice. I took this in Positano a couple years ago. And I remember vividly seeing this thinking like, this is just so perfect. So it'll be fun to paint now that I have the sketch, but man, did that take me a long time. Tonight's dinner is chill, but like it has to be in the oven for a while. So we gotta preheat the oven, get things, 
get things started. The one thing with doing this is I lose track of time so fast. Like, especially with it being light outside, which I love. I love how long summer days are. Like, the sun only goes down after nine, but I just, I lose track of time. And then I end up eating dinner like really late. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna have to get that started. Oven's gonna be done for heating in like five minutes. I love when I can time things out like that and just like be productive. And then once my task is done, like I'm ready to go to the next task, just feels very satisfying. My dinner's gonna be so good. I've been thinking about it all day. I'm gonna make spaghetti squash. I've made it a couple times in the last six months and it's so good. So easy, such an effortless dinner that's nutritious, it's delicious, it has all the things. We're doing that with a really nice, light, fresh tomato sauce. But step one is really just so effortless. You just have spaghetti squash. And then while this seems like a really easy task, cutting it in half, it's hard. We're gonna put all of my might into this. And it's still gonna look embarrassing. You can go right down the middle like this, or you can go lengthwise. I kind of like cutting it down the middle like this because then you have a little bowl. So I think we're gonna do that again. I'm sorry. Have I become strong overnight? That's usually a lot harder to do. Now we have two cups like this. You just scoop out all the seeds and all the stuff in there, kind of like a pumpkin. I'm gonna wash my hands and then pull out all the stuff. Okay, both sides have been scooped. Taking a little olive oil spray, I'm just gonna spray them. And then for seasoning, we're just gonna do some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. And here they are. We're gonna wait until my oven beeps. Oh, perfect timing, are you kidding? Now they just go in the oven face down for 40 minutes. And we'll get started on the sauce kind of soon. Set 40 minute timer. We have 40 minutes, well 30 minutes before I have to get started on the sauce. Typically I would probably do some reading, but I'm actually gonna do some journaling. If you don't know, I've actually journaled my entire life pretty much, like since I was probably 10. So many journals throughout the years. I used to write daily, like literally every single day I wrote what I did. Obviously this was before I did YouTube. And if you think about it, I have so much of my life documented in some way, some form. Now obviously I have these videos to look back on from the past 10 years of my life. But before then, I have it all written down. I think it's so special and cool to get to look back at your life and see all the changes and growth. So I'm gonna do like 15 minutes of journaling, but I also wanna give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, which is BetterHelp. There are so many ways of processing your emotions. BetterHelp is great. Therapy is great. It's really easy to not want to put some of your own stuff on other people because everyone's going through their own stuff. Everyone has things going on in their life. A therapist is there for you, which is fantastic. But at the same time, therapy can be very expensive. It's not always the most affordable, which is why I love BetterHelp. It's a much more affordable option that gives you a lot of access to a lot of therapists that you wouldn't have locally. They're all licensed, trained to listen and understand and help you through whatever you're going through. It's all online, which is obviously super convenient. You can talk on the phone, you can message, you can do video calls calls, really whatever your preference. When you sign up, you just do a little quiz and then they match you up with somebody that best fits your needs. It's really hard to know where to start, how to find the right therapist. And I just think BetterHelp has so many people there for you. So many people you can try if like the first one doesn't work out great. There's just a lot of option. It's less intimidating in my personal opinion. And I could not recommend it more if you're thinking about trying out therapy. I'm gonna have my link down below. It's just betterhelp.com slash Tara Michelle. And if you use my link to sign up, you'll get a little special discount for your first month. So again, link is down below. Go check it out. I'm gonna go do my 15 minutes of journaling and then we're gonna put together a little sauce for our little dinner. What's left on my timer? Perfect, we're gonna get started on the sauce. Sauce is super easy. I'm just gonna throw a ton of tomatoes on a pan, medium high heat with some oil, and we're gonna roast them. And they're gonna get really saucy and juicy, and then we're gonna add some garlic and cream, give them some parm. It's gonna be so good. These guys are gonna kinda hang out here for a while, like 10, 15, which is kind of perfect timing. And I'm gonna grate some cheese. Got a lot of waiting to do here, so I'm probably gonna eat half of this. Let's just check on, ooh, okay. Part of me wants to take these out and see how they're looking. The edges are getting kinda dark. So they should be done. Like they're probably done now, but I might leave them in. What's left on my timer? Six minutes. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna watch them and see how it's looking. And in the meantime, I'm gonna put some stuff away. Here my space, because then once I'm done eating, I don't have to worry about the kitchen. Okay, I gotta keep this up. Okay, these are looking like I'm gonna start squishing them down, and they pop. Yeah. 
I'm gonna let these kind of cook a little bit on low and then I'm gonna add garlic, a little veggie broth, and then the cream. Totally winging the sauce, by the way, but I'm gonna add a little bit of onion. I'm also gonna add some garlic. I'm gonna let this cook for a few minutes and then we're gonna add some veggie broth and a little bit of cream. It smells so good in here. It smells so good. Stop timer. This is perfect. Okay, we're gonna flip them over and hope, hope they look good. I am gonna let them sit for like five minutes before I start scraping out the noodles. I feel like you can tell that the tomatoes are a little saucier. So we're gonna add in some chicken broth and then some heavy cream. I'm gonna throw in some salt and pepper. It smells so good. We also, I'm gonna add this leftover chicken just to get, you know, some protein in this. It's also 9.15 now. It's far too late. I'm so hungry, <laughs> this is gonna be so good. Okay, for this, all you do is just scrape the sides and then full on noodles. Like, oh, this is actually a little hot. Look at that, it just scrapes right off the side and then you already have like your little bowl. Quickly before I throw this on top of the noodles, I'm just gonna try it, see how it tastes. Mmm. And a little extra cheese. <laughs> it's pretty crazy to me that this is pretty much all veg. Like this is, this is mostly veggies with some chicken. And it's gonna be so satisfying. I obviously only made sauce for just tonight, and then I'm gonna make a different sauce when I have the other half. But as always, I'm gonna go watch a little 20, 30 minute show. It is my go-to year round. I'm always watching a show while I eat dinner. Like I can't just sit in silence and just like eat this, just mindlessly, like I have to do something. What do you do during dinner? Like are you a TV during dinner kind of person? If I'm having dinner with somebody, then like I'll, I'll talk to that person, I won't watch TV. But if it's just me, like I'm just gonna sit on the couch and watch my show. I gotta be entertained while I'm having a yummy dinner. Let me know in the comments what you do. But let's, let's, let's give her a whirl. Let's try it. Mmm, it's perfect. Perfection is hitting the spot. Let's go watch a show. Now, if you know, my current show that I've been watching is Once Upon a Time. I never watch it unless I'm eating dinner, but it's my go-to while I eat. So random, but you know what? It hits the spot. Mom, I knew you would keep things from me. But now, you just want your dark magic back. Okay, all right, we gotta call it. Tomorrow me will thank Kurt me for what I'm about to do. We're cleaning the kitchen. It's not so bad because we've tidied as we've gone, which is always the best move, but set five minute timer. Five minutes starting now. All right, we're done in five. And then upstairs. Almost bedtime, I'm so excited. It's the best time of day. It's the best time of day. Also, I've decided that I'm pretty sure the gloss did do something. Like, I think it's a little bit, a little darker. It's super shiny and it, it just feels really good. I also did cut it yesterday, so the ends are a little bit cleaner. But I also got PJs on, cutie little satin set, and it's skincare time. I'm gonna go heavy on the moisturizing because I was in the sun today. I spent like two hours today laying in the sun. So we're going heavy on the moisturizing, including my entire body. I need a little bit of something. We're gonna use the Nivea Soft Moisturizing Cream. I have this guy. Honestly, I alternate with what body lotion I use, but this one's on my counter right now. So we're just gonna throw that on everywhere and then we'll move on to my face. I think I'm gonna put on my usual skincare and then top with a sheet mask. I haven't done a sheet mask in so long, but I think that'll really help soak up all of the product underneath. We'll let that soak in and read my book. I just started a new one. I also have to talk to you guys about the Akatar series because I finished that the other day. Months later, I finally finished it. I finished the last book and I haven't talked to you guys about that here. So we'll do a little book chat once we get into bed. Dinner was so good. I was so full that I, I lit on the couch scrolling through TikTok. <laughs> There's always got to be a bit of TikTok time every night. I got to see what's going on. What's going on in the world? You know, we got to keep up. Okay, so for my skin, I'm going to start with this Hyaluronic Ceramide Mist. It's a hydrating and barrier strengthening mist. Also feels so good. It's super cooling, so it's also really nice when you come in from the sun. And then tonight, actually, I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. It's a really great serum. I'm gonna put that all over. I always bring my leftover product down my neck and to my chest. I'm trying to stay youthful out here. And then we're gonna top with my thickest, creamiest, most hype. 
my good, and my good. Most hydrating product, which is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This is some thick stuff. I never put this on during the day, only at night, because it is really thick and it feels a little too, a little too dewy for daytime. For getting to bed and sleeping with this on, I feel like I wake up and my skin is just plump and hydrated and it just feels really good. And obviously in the summer with hotter days and being in the sun, super important to rehydrate the skin. Okay, last step, sheet mask. So we have a few back here. We have brightening, refreshing peppermint, holographic peel off, looking for hydration, nourishing, okay, that's maybe, refreshing green tea, radiant tomato, firming, and then lastly, moisturizing. This is what we're looking for. No solo self-care night is complete without a face mask. They just go hand in hand. This is gonna feel so good. Got to look the cutest ever. Woo! Oh, you're so refreshing. Oh, I love being a girl. <laughs> That's the stuff. That's the stuff, guys. Happy days. <laughs> Just leave on for 20, 30 minutes. So I'm gonna get a little reading in <laughs> and then we'll chat about some books. I don't know if you want me to talk to you for that long looking like this, so. <laughs> Twenty percent in. I just started this like yesterday. Eleven twenty. I gotta peel this off and brush my teeth, and then we get into bed for the last time, the way it should be. It always looks so scary. <sighs> nice. Now I'm just gonna let all that soak in, and we're almost there. <laughs> Bedtime. Okay guys, we made it. Can you believe I finished a book this thick? I read it completely on my e-reader, so I didn't realize that it was this insane. Holding this in my hand, I feel like it's like a brick. We gotta talk about the Akatar series. We gotta talk about A Court of Silver Flames, the whole thing. This is the last book that's currently out in the series. I'm pretty sure I've seen that she's coming out with another one at some point, maybe next year, I don't know. But as of right now, I have finished and I've caught up with the Akatar series, which is just crazy, because I feel like for so long, everyone just, it's like one of the most recommended series if you wanna get into fantasy, and I've finished it. Like I did it, it took me three, four months, but I did it. And this book was spicy. It was so different from the other books for anyone that has read the series. You know, this book was just like so different. Writing style was different. First of all, it wasn't from Feyre's point of view and it's, you know, about Nesta and just a spicy book. I thought it was really good. I loved watching her growth throughout the series. I feel like Nesta started off just super unlikable. Like everything about her was just annoying. I just wanted to tell her to fuck off you know? And then by the end of this book, I have like a new appreciation for her. You know, everyone's got sides and fronts and faces that they need to present to the world to feel better or just to survive and getting to watch her become such like a full, well-rounded person was so fun. Love character development, we really do. And then obviously Cassian and everyone else in this, so good. The whole series I really loved. I feel like overall I would give it like a full five star. Did not really care for A Court of Frost and Starlight. Like it was cute, but it didn't like, there was nothing memorable in that. Like I cannot tell you what was going on in that for the life of me. I think my personal favorite was A Court of Wings and Ruin. It was just like, I loved the final battle and the buildup and I feel like there was just so much character development with everyone in it like the whole the whole crew everyone had their own storylines that i thought were built up really well in that book obviously a court of mist and fury was so good we love those couple chapters in there it was just beautiful and romantic and wonderful if you've been thinking about getting into fantasy I mean, the Akatar series is well known and well loved for a reason. I think it's supposed to be really good beginner fantasy. Obviously, I've only read, you know, Akatar and then what's out of the Fourth Wing series. Those are the only two real fantasy worlds that I've gotten into outside of Harry Potter and Hunger Games and Twilight that I, I don't really count because I read those when I was young, not Harry Potter. But super good. Highly recommend if you're into that kind of stuff. But I have to say that I'm really excited to have that behind me so I can just get into my standalone books and start flying through some books again. I feel like with the 
this series they're just like i mean this is like a really big book but there's also so much going on that i don't fly through them as as fast as i would get through a thriller or like a silly little romance so while i was definitely really sad to finish that and like feel really weird for the next two days that i don't like get to go back into that world i am excited to get into my other worlds like my thrillers I started the housemaid is watching which is the third in this series the housemaid series so i think for summer here we're gonna bounce back and forth between thrillers and romance like i usually do and then in the fall i think i'm gonna dabble with throne of glass maybe i've heard conflicting opinions some people love it and love it even more than the akatar series some people think it's boring so if you've read it let me know in the comments your thoughts let me know your thoughts on akatar versus fourth wing let's just have some fun book talk in the comments every night when i'm like really getting into the book zone i will either lower my lights oh that's a little too low more like this vibe or if i'm reading fantasy i always go purple lights just really think that it adds to the vibes you know i think we'll stick to this but i might be a little spooked going to sleep because i am reading a psychological thriller and this this is giving a little spooky it's okay i'm a big girl i can handle it <laughs> anyways guys this is where i'm gonna leave you i hope you enjoyed watching and coming along on my perfect summer night. Honestly, this is exactly what my nights look like when I'm spending it by myself, just doing me things, um, and I love it. Summer's starting off so strong, it's gonna be so good. Let me know if you wanna see my ideal perfect summer morning routine. Bring back the, uh, the good old days. <laughs> I feel like people always say they want old school YouTube videos, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you're doing right now as you're watching this video down below. And uh, with that, I will see you guys in the next vlog.